I think Sankhya philosophy is the one that I like best, and that's that's the philosophy that it's really a dualism. In Sankhya philosophy, you have consciousness in the world process, you know, and there's this metaphor for that uh, the parable from the uh, old uh, text of the two birds on the on the branch in the tree, and the one bird's eating the fruit, and the other bird watches. So that's it, that's Purusha and Prakriti. Prakriti is the world process. Purusha is shining, motionless consciousness. And in some sense, I think that's kind of the way it works. And uh, that's just my own view. Uh, that fits with panpsychism perfectly well with me. Uh, but what that also means is that the world process from Sankhya philosophy includes the whole thing. It includes your thoughts, your feelings, whatever goes on in your brain, whatever goes on in the quantum world. So all those things are game for study and understanding, and I think as we understand them better, uh, we'll understand the nature of mind and consciousness better. So I think uh, these people like Stuart Hameroff that are, uh, you know, trying to build a pathway to understanding consciousness through the brain, through the quantum level, through all the strange and wonderful things that go on there, non-locality, reversal in time, God knows everything else. Uh, but it's all great, and I think it can all contribute and give us a better understanding of how we work as an organism and how consciousness plays itself out. But in terms of my own work, I tend to think of consciousness as just an open field in which, or the platform on which everything occurs. So, for example, my work about complex systems is about the mind. And I consider that part of Prakriti. That's part of the world process. My favorite metaphor for consciousness is light. Because, you know, you can't see light. It, light doesn't, you, it doesn't have any appearance. It just illuminates whatever it falls on. And I, consciousness is like that. It illuminates whatever is in it, but you can't see it. It's just what illuminates. It's not even a thing, and that's one of the big problems I think people have talking about it. They get themselves confused, think they're talking about something, something, and consciousness isn't. It's just not something. It's the illumination of the world. Mm -hmm.